what is good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary and we are back here for another episode of the Brooklyn Nets My Jam series. Now if you guys missed my last video, it was pretty much a reaction to the AD trade. And my last Nets video, I did go through the All-Star game. So let me know if you guys want to see more of this series. Like I said, this is the final season and this is going to be the last regular season of this series i do plan on starting another one uh but primarily focusing on nba videos and stuff like that because that's what i really actually want to make uh, i've just been slacking on them i really don't know what to really talk about other than the anthony davis stuff which i do have planned uh in the, in the next following days as far as his top places for him to go and some potential trades in general but other than that, we've obviously been seeing a lot. Letting points by Reddish and D'Lo. Both of them have been having an amazing season. And in today's game, I do have us taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Because, I mean, their team is pretty good. They don't have a ridiculously good seed. But it's Dennis Smith Jr., Luka Doncic, <laughs> Jimmy Butler. Jordan Mickey is the weakest part. Then they got DeAndre Jordan, Jordan LaKay, Giannis' brother. This team is pretty deep. So let's see if we can go into this game and walk away with a W because, I mean, we're the best team in the NBA. Hopefully this season we just don't choke it away and lose in the first round. But other than that, let's get straight into it. For joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. It's Western Conference versus Eastern Conference here in Dallas, Texas, where the Mavericks will try to protect home court. So getting straight into the gameplay, as I was saying in the intro, uh, this is the final season of this series. So uh, for the next one, I am going to be putting a poll in the description of the next video whenever we sim through the first round or maybe the entire playoffs. I'm going to have a link in that description to have you guys go ahead and vote for a couple of teams. But for right now, give me some suggestions of who we should be picking in the comment section below. I know some people want to see us do with Cleveland, the Knicks a bunch of other teams let me know who we should rebuild in next and i do have some rebuilds coming as well uh, just let me know what you guys think that this channel which direction i should push it into because personally I, I like the whole nba discussion stuff i like those kind of videos a lot so that's probably gonna be my primary focus but getting into the gameplay here's dealing with the free throw line he's doing his he's just doing what he normally does now last season he was third in voting for the mvp this season, we ain't got nobody in there running for the MVP, which is kind of crazy because we're still the number one seed. Yeah, I know that he's averaging like three less points than he did last season, but I think the team is just better overall. We got more depth. We got more concisiveness or maybe not necessarily like the whole depth thing, but I think this team pretty much works together and we just got better chemistry in general. But let's see what Pascal Siakam got. That's a pretty easy layup for him. Right now, it's tied up four to four. Come on. As long as we don't lose this game, I, I have faith in this. Because if you guys remember last season, we, we were the number one seed. Uh, didn't we lose in, like, round number one to, like, the A seed or something? Like, that cannot happen again. Like, it really cannot. And I think we got, like, swept or we lost in, like, five or six. Regardless, it, that definitely should not have happened. And we just can't let that happen this season. That's why we just got to let everybody on this team grow. I mean, we upgraded that center with Drummond. So, I think we're going to be pretty good. All right, but other than that, obviously, as I was saying before, I got some more NBA videos coming. Uh, probably tomorrow, I'll do my top landing spots for Davis because we've heard a lot of a lot of speculation of teams that are interested, some of the trades that might be happening. I think half of that is capped, though, so I really want to talk about that in tomorrow's video. Make sure you go ahead and check that one out. Here's D'Lo passing it off to Mature Maker. And, yo, Maker's actually good. He was a great player. I think we got him in year one. And he was a draft and stash player like, like the last two seasons or three seasons around there. Regardless, he ain't played for us once. And, you know, whenever he gets in the game th this year, even though he's ever really averaging like three points, whenever he actually plays, he, he does work. Here's Karis LeVert, who honestly, this game was not his best. He got one point. Come on. Right now, side up 39 and 39. Here's D'Lo. Come on, road to the paints. Maker, that's all I'm going to ask you to do, brother. That's literally nothing too difficult. Nothing too too difficult at all. Come on. 
we honestly just got to stop giving people open threes. If we can stop doing that, we're going to be a good team on the fast break with Cam. I don't know how he made that, but I'm going to take it any single time. But yeah, guys, just, just let me know who we should be looking forward to reboot next. And if you guys think that we can actually win a championship this season, I mean, our biggest competitor is probably the Los Angeles Lakers. They got LeBron, Lonzo, B.I., uh, DeMarcus Cousins. And who else do they got? I think they got Cassius Stanley and a bunch of other, like, top high school players currently. So, I mean, they're pretty, they're a pretty good team. But I still think that we're better. Uh, that's why we got a better record. But if we can just turn things around in the playoffs and just not choke and get to the finals, I would take us against them any day of the week. And hopefully we can actually just win the finals because if we don't, that would be a failure. Like, finishing with top three seeds for three years straight. And just not being able to win any of those years and losing round one. That can't happen. <laughs> that literally can just not happen. But getting back into the game, let's see what, what, what we got right here. Less than a minute left. We are up 62 to 55. Come on. You, like, giving them layups like that is not going to win us this game. But going into halftime, we are up 65 to 57. And I, I do got to say, like, D'Angelo Russell, every single game, he turns up in the first half. And he's, like, the only one. Like, we do struggle a lot, especially in the first quarter. Just to feel the game out, but D'Lo is always, even if it's on bad efficiency, he's still always carrying us. Like, every single game, he's always carrying us. And you guys can pretty much see that from all the clips here. Most of them are of him. Cam Reddish normally struggles a lot. But getting into it, I mean, at, at this point, Cam is doing alright. He got 14 and 5. DSJ got 19. And we're shooting, we're doing better than them in literally every single stat. Field goal percentage, we're shooting 55%. We got six freaking blocks at halftime. All right, if we can keep that up, we're going to blow them out in the second half. Because that's normally whenever we play better, especially in the third and fourth. In the, in the third and fourth, that second half, there's no stopping us. See, we're literally starting it off with a three. Come on, get that block. Come on. get. All right, we should leave him open like that? Bet. Bet. We're just going to leave it Gene Butler wide open. All right, how about Colton Anthony answer right back with that three? Turn up. And, we, and we're getting back on defense. That could have been a steal. I don't like the idea of Jordan Mickey really getting buckets, but it's really whatever. D'Lo is getting clamped up. We're going to go ahead and find my tour maker. He knocks down three. He got 13. <laughs> he got 13, so, yo, he's really going off right now. Here we go. We're going to find Giles in the paint for the easy dunk. And right now, we got the 11-point lead. I think we got this game. I think we got, like, there's, there's no way that we lose this game, right? Okay. How? Come on. Let's not make this, this game any close. At least he missed that. Come on. Push the pace. D-Lo, please knock down that three. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see what we got. Cam. Drummond. Pascal Siakam. He missed, he missed so many threes this game. Come on. And, of course, Jalen, okay, he missed as well, bet. Come on, we're, we're still up by, like, four points. So, we got this. At this point, I'm just going to stat pad a little bit. Give me that dunk. And there's 12 seconds left. We're up 127 to 121. There's literally no scenario where we lose this game. Unless we just completely choke it and they hit back-to-back -back threes on us. That's the only way that this actually happens, which which means it's just not happening, right? Come on. We got this, man. We got this. Just don't give anybody any threes, and we're going to be all right. Okay, step up. Bruh. <laughs> I'm going to need you to step up, all right? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to really need you to step up. But, of course, D-Lo does have those clutch badges. He knocks on that first free throw. And we get the second one as well. So I ain't stressed. I ain't stressed. Now they do go ahead and call an, another timeout. I still can't believe that he, he actually made that three. Don't really like that. <laughs> but I still think that we're gonna go ahead and win this game. Like if we if we blow this game, honestly, we ain't winning the championship then. That would actually there would actually be no way for that to happen. Run, run through all the screens and go over them. Step up. Step up. Step up. Why? D'Angelo is leaving him wide open. Now, there's 0 0.2 seconds left, so 
if we make one, we, we honestly got this. And of course, he misses the first one. Yeah, this is awesome. This is actually awesome. He does go ahead and, and knock down the second one. And they are out of timeout. So, uh, unless we're making a half-court shot, that's game. That's game. It got, it got a little close there with Jimmy Butler, but we went 130 to 127. Jimmy Butler came at us mad clutch. I can't even cap. Like, if that was a closer game, they they could have won that. Like, the way that D'Angelo was offending him towards the end, that, that like, first three was kind of understandable how D'Lo would think that he wouldn't make it. But that second one, you got to go through and over all of those greens. We can just leave Jimmy Buckets wide open like that. He's going to knock that down every single time. But other than that, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Nets uh, series. This might be the second to last one. So, like I said, make sure to come back for the actual uh, playoffs and stuff like that. But going into the stats, because the stats is what really matters, man. Of course, we walked away with the easy dub. As far as the points and all that stuff, Butler, he, he, he had a 40-piece on us. 4-6 from the three. Uh, DSJ with 26-6. and six. Harrison Barnes with 20 points. Jalen, LaKay, LaQ, whatever. He, he got 17 as well. Luca was, yeah. That, Luca played terrible. He, he was getting clamped. Like, there's no real other way of saying it. D'Lo, 29, 16 assists, and 6 of 15 shooting. Now, he, he actually wasn't that bad. Redditch with 21. Giles was with 17 and 8 off the bench. He was a freaking beast. Cole Anthony was good. Maker with 15. And that's the box score. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go ahead and like it up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.